What's up guys, I'm Sci High. It is December, which means it is a brand new season of ladder gameplay. I haven't played a single match yet. Gonna get started here though. Uh, last season I was lucky enough to finally crack the top 1200 with kind of a Jeskai prison build, which I'll have a link in the description to deck analysis and the deck list. If you want to check it out, be sure to do so. But that's what we'll be rocking today. Without further ado, we'll dive into some games, see if we can start our ascent back to Mythic, or at least we hope to climb. As always, please like and subscribe for more, hopefully, Mythic gameplay and high-level deck analysis. It's free to do so. Be sure to tap the bell icon as well to get updates on new videos that I upload, as this channel is still just getting started. Opponents on the play, going second. We've got three lands, mixture of colors. Lightning Helix can buy time in the early game. We've got our one of rest in peace, couple nine lives. I think we'll we'll roll with it, see what happens. Let's see, the point looks to be on a zombies build. The so rest in peace could be could be good here, especially if they are the kind of recursion zombie deck. Which I have a video on as well on my channel where you resurrect all your zombies, deal a bunch of damage with uh, rally the ranks or whatever it's called. But just don't really know exactly what their build is yet. We'll just drop the rest in peace, I think. Now, I don't know, although it's... Actually, well, yeah, I screwed up there. I, I didn't leave uh, Lightning Helix available, so... We'll just establish the rest in peace now. You can always Lightning Helix next turn. It may be a better target anyways, depending on what they drop. Don't see a lot of value to drop nine lives this early yet. It's unfortunate that we have three copies of it. We're not in immediate danger of dying, so the general strategy with nine lives is you want to soak up as much damage as you can within reason without risking too much. They're actually going to go ahead and use the discard ability on Crypt Keeper, which is interesting. They pitched another Crypt Keeper to get a 2-2 zombie. So I'm a little tempted to just rip a Lightning Helix now. Just don't have much else to do, just buy some time. It's not a very juicy target, but we'll go ahead and just knock out a ghoul. Nice, there's the combo lock. So now we'll, we'll just drop Solemnity and a tapped Sacred Foundry and set up to try to establish the lock. Hopefully they don't have too many effects to make us lose life with rest in peace locking up the graveyard. Usually that's their way to do it. The things coming back from the graveyard that make you lose life when things, zombies come back into play or... Doom Scar. So it's tempting to just clear out the Crypt Keeper. It does allow them to draw cards. I mean, there's not a lot out there. Could lock down the combo now as well. Maybe we will get the combo down and then just 
foretell a doom scar to have it ready they've seen enough their deck is not equipped to deal with that so the prison wins out that's what we want and usually those zombie decks like i was saying they can get around the prison lock with a lot of life loss but i don't know that that build looked kind of primitive Again, we are back to platinum with the reset, so might not see necessarily the most elite decks. Although in theory, people in platinum this early probably were a mythic last season, but not necessarily. They could have just grinded and got there relatively quickly. So we've got a healthy mixture of lands. Um, we might want to lead off with a Fable Passage to get, get the second planes online, but we'll keep this. Have a little bit of safety with the Doom Scar early, depending on what their build is. Yeah, so I'm going to look to get a planes to make sure we have two sources of white for these important cards. At their end step, I'll crack the Fabled Passage, get a planes. Yep, so I think we'll just foretell that. There you go. Lotus Cobra. It's so interesting now, back at the start of Platinum, you may see a lot more experimental decks. Like, I, when you're grinding in the top of Mythic, you tend to just see like the top four or five decks that work, but now it's like back to just a lot of craziness and I don't really know what to expect. Tempted to just kill these things now. And there's not a lot of danger on the board, but I mean I don't know what they plan on doing with the Lotus Cobra. They're also very land heavy. Could consider getting a fabled passage and getting more land out of our deck. Which I think I'll do, but I don't know. Our opponents <laughs> they too impatient with my slow, methodical, stupid play, so what a silly, stupid game. We'll have chapter markers in the YouTube video, so you can always skip ahead to different different games. Again, uh, I'm, I'm not scripting anything here, I'm not filtering losses and only showing wins, so you're just, you're getting live gameplay of the ladder and not. I think I've played this guy before, the high-level mythic, so... I think this player is good. I think they know what they what they're doing, if I remember. Only two lands, but we do have Doomscar and a Lightning Helix, so I don't feel super, you know, worried about keeping this. And we are on the play. Are gonna want to get a third land. Hello. But like I was saying, I'm not like filtering games, so you're gonna get just raw ladder gameplay. I may play like an utter retard. I may play brilliantly. We're doing it live, so you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, might be fantastic, interesting games. Might be really stupid games, but that's what a live look in of a ladder session should be, anyways. Opponents on Dragon Storm. It's gonna be hard to stop if we can't get a rest in peace online quick enough. So I guess we are just gonna drop this, pay to life, and foretell Doomscar. It's not a very fast aggressive deck, the life isn't that relevant, so I'm not worried about playing a shock land, taking two damage. If we're gonna lose, we're just gonna lose outright to a big combo. They also have the emergent ultimatum. It's usually how it goes to help find the combo in different ways. 
Nine lives doesn't really help against the Dragonstorm combo until we have Solemnity. But I may be tempted to just roll it out. I'm gonna play a red to establish our second red here. Do nine lives now. We wanna get Solemnity as soon as possible. Do have the tutor for it. We better just draw it naturally. Because we could we're could die very quickly, could die as early as next turn if they can reanimate one of these. There's another idyllic tutor. Might just be too late. You know, I think I'll just go for Solemnity here. But now it's kind of a race. If they can combo off before we can solidify our prison, looks like they have, so maybe GG here. This is how it goes. So this is that fun position where I'm forced to choose a card to put back in our opponent's deck. But the way they have their deck configured, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we can't have a Dragonstorm go off, but we can't have a Scholar go off either, because it's just going to reanimate a Dragonstorm anyways and do it that way. So it's almost worse, though, than this, but... It's not going to matter. They should have the combo here with Final Party as well. I'm just going to make sure they actually have it. I mean, they surely do, but sometimes you get in crazy situations where all the pieces are stuck in their hand, but it's clearly not the case this time, so... Good game. They're just going to keep reanimating, dealing damage to us, and kill us with their own nine lives, so... Unfortunate. On to the next game. By the way, there's a big historic and I believe standard tournament this weekend on Magic's official Twitch channel. Should be fun to watch. Only two Enchantress decks apparently made the meta, which I'm a little disappointed. I'll be rooting for whoever, whichever two players brought those decks. If you've been watching my content, you know I'm, uh, I'm very high on the Enchantress deck and the Prison combo. So I was surprised to only see two copies of that deck. We'll keep, got a Lightning Helix and the combo online, which is hopefully good against whatever our opponent has. But, but yeah, this tournament should be interesting. Just a massive amount of white-green humans decks, which does seem like the most popular deck in Historic currently because it just has so much power and consistency. Collected Company is such a bomb card. Yeah, it looks to be elves. So I'm not gonna actually could consider Lightning Helix in the out the uh, Land of War to slow them down, but they could also play their uh Elder, whatever the card is, their Lord that can make even more mana it would be a juicier target to hit. But, I don't know. I think if we slow them down enough, we can lock down the combo. So, if we just kill that now, should be okay. Probably doesn't matter too much either way. If I didn't already have the combo... I may have been tempted to wait and see if they cast like a juicier, as I say, or just a better target. Although, I mean, a Lana War Elf is a good target to help slow them down. So I don't believe I'm in no way they can kill me next turn with the resources they have. 
so I'm just gonna drop a uh, solemnity first here. Since we can soak up a little bit of damage for sure. And now we're gonna see if our opponent has a way to deal with this. If they don't, they'll probably concede. And it looks like they don't. And I was gonna hold the Triome just because I was good on lands, although I didn't have a blue established, so maybe it made sense to actually play that. But I was just thinking of being able to cycle it to find something, but didn't realize I didn't have blue there. Anyways, splitting hairs, overthinking things. Sometimes it's just that simple. Our opponent didn't have any way to deal with enchantments, so the combo is good enough to completely stop elves there. That's what we want. Simple, easy, grinding victories where we don't have to think much and rack our brain. But elves does have, a lot of times they can run the... Uh, I always forget the name of the three mana 2-1 elf that can kill a artifact or enchantment when it enters the battlefield. But anyways, on to the next game. We've got three lands, sort of close to having the prison combo, and we've got some creature control and lightning hits for the gods, so it's fine with keep. I'll go ahead and just get a Triome into play first. I mean, how good are these Triomes? The triple land, but the fact that they can cycle and that they count as the as the island, mountain, and plains type is so crazy good, especially in modern where you have fetch lands and you can just find this card. Such an amazing land, triple land. I'll just play a planes and leave up lightning helix. Although it looks like our opponent could be on kind of a Grixis control build. Maybe even looks like maybe a four color control something. I'm just gonna keep lightning helix, no point in going to their face yet. Don't really know what we're up against, so I'm gonna hold it back. trying to decide do I even if I were to tutor this turn what do I go for maybe find solemnity to get the combo online no idea what our opponent's doing yet so I guess in a kind of a blind vacuum we can just execute our game plan I've got the two red so I'll just already so I think I'll go planes here Prismari command. Oh, interesting. Okay, they are on. Okay, so they countered my idyllic tutor, which, which is very good. Um, now that we know what they're doing, they're on reanimation. So yeah, we want to wanted to find rest and peace. This is kind of a weird situation where we, with the fact that they're running a reanimator deck, we almost, the Scholar of the Lost Trove is almost less dangerous in play right now than it is in the graveyard. However, we do want to establish a Teferi. And we want to establish Teferi on a clear board so he's protected. Don't have two islands yet, so we'll go ahead and get 
our second island. It just feels risky to Wrath to put that back in the graveyard. At the same time, though, it is five damage coming to our face. And next turn, we can set up a Teferi, if nothing else, so... Maybe I'll just... This could be incorrect, but I'm just going to Wrath it out of there. It's going to feel bad if they dump like an ultimatum and then on burial rights it away. I feel a little slow. How did these cards get exiled? I don't I feel like I'm unclear what happened there. Anyways, moving on. I've established a Platinum Angel in the play now. Probably want to just clear this all out again. I mean, I could nine lives as well. I'm just going to kill everything and do that again. Oh, that is very scary. If they've just got all the f all the horrific creatures in the graveyard ready to ready to kick ass, it's very scary. Want to find rest in peace as soon as possible. Because Solemnity Nine Lives doesn't do anything against Ulamog. They'll just mill us to death. Um, so I think we want to just. We want to draw here. I'm going to play this just in case they have a Jawari disruption or something to counter a spell with it where we would be required to pay one mana. It's a little paranoid, but I want to get this in play. It may just be hard countered anyways. Sorry I'm late. Start digging. Keep up the pace. It's possible that rest in peace isn't even necessarily good enough. It'll help a lot, but if this game drags out long enough, they can start hard casting stuff. It certainly would buy a decent amount of time though. But now we might be absolutely effed. I mean, if they do go Ulamog, at least we can tuck, tuck it away, but they could go, and yeah, they might go Sarah's Emissary and choose Planeswalker, or Scholar, and is there something else they can recast? Go Scholar. I'm just gonna concoct again. That's pretty sweet. Of 
Core Augur. So I'm going to draw an ass load amount of cards and we, our maximum hand size is, is reduced to zero at the end of our end step, or at our end step, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Lightning Helix doesn't do anything here. We don't, can't take anything down. And all, drawing all those cards is nice because they, they do have Swan Songs, a one mana counter spell, at least a narrow, or narrow counter spell. But they could counter a Wrath of God if we get one. This looks very difficult to win from here, maybe. Um, I mean, we could draw. They could have a counter spell. We could try to draw into a wrath, kill everything. We could establish our combo, assuming they don't counter something. And then them drawing seven cards every turn is, you know, in a weird way, they could die by self-milling if they don't have some way around that. Um, I think we want to see, I want to see if I can actually cast this first. I'm going to go nine lives. See if we, I want to have the information as if we, if we actually establish this combo. I. I expect, yeah, I expect it to be countered, unfortunately. So that means... I don't know. I mean, is it possible they could mill themselves to death? Play Solemnity just for the hell of it. To start to try to get some prison or not or uh, counter both so I'm gonna lose these maybe I do need to tuck the auger out of here actually I'm just gonna draw let's um, skip to the good I've part. got blockers there's a rest in peace fortunately we're gonna lose it that sucks That was our only copy. That's probably kind of insane to think that we could win by our opponent drawing their, you know, drawing out. They, I'll probably, I guess their way around that would be to just play Platinum Angel. Oh, that works. That kills, kills our blockers. So it's like. Wrath of God or bust here. It's just it's kind of a house of horrors of crazy monsters to deal with. These decks like this can certainly be a handful if you can't get establish a rest in peace in time, but that's gonna do it. GG. Yeah, our opponent certainly had all the toys. It's it's interesting how to build those reanimator decks, like what creatures you choose. They seem to go kind of the, having every possible answer. Good against aggro decks, control. I like their build a lot, especially with the swan songs. Particularly pretty cool. This hand looks extremely slow, and we're on the draw. If our opponent's on fast aggro and we can't find anything relevant to stop them this could be lights out quickly so I'm gonna mull hopefully get something a little bit more varied this looks a little bit more playable we'll ditch one of the Chandras and away we go Good old goblins
so goblins can be difficult for Jessica to control as well. If we can't establish the prison fast enough, Wrath of Gods aren't very good against a massive amount of haste creatures. So they've already got a Skirk Prospector and a Wily Goblin, which means if they drop a land, they could have up to six mana and go Muxus and just ruin our day and combo off. So given that um, foretelling Doomscar may not be an option, we are, I was, I was thinking about uh, Lightning Helix seeing the Skirt Prospector, but we're actually screwed on. No, we do have the mana to do that, so that's what we're going to have to do here. Don't even have the two white to, to drop. So, I'm just going to do it now. To take away the risk of them going Muxus next turn. It's still possible they could if they have like an Iron Crag feat. It's a little bit less commonly run. But there's the nine lives. So now this is this is getting dicey. If we can't find a second white mana source, and we've got plenty in the deck. Don't know what the exact odds are, but this Muxus. But GG here. That's the power of the combo. It's just how best of one goes sometimes. It's just you can't line up the right card fast enough on that mole. But that's why they call it a ladder grind. We'll keep going. You know, sometimes it's just how it goes. Like grinding to top twelve hundred last season, I you know I, I got as low as 92 percent mythic after being ninety nine percent. You know, drop all the way down and then go on a tear, come back up. You're even even the best decks and builds. I'm not saying this is by any means the best build or deck. It's a work in progress, but you, you're gonna have losing streaks. And it's just part of the game. Another kind of pretty slow hand, only two lands. Do have a helix, but I'm gonna mull it. This will keep. And I think I'll pitch. Pitch one of the fabled passages here. General's Enforcer. Legendary humans you control have indestructible. Interesting. I think I'll go grab a mountain. So then we should have our two red on hand and can drop a planes next turn to be able to have Helix online. Could consider just Helixing it now, but we'll wait and see what happens. Oftentimes you're rewarded by waiting to cast your instants Things like Helix just maybe a better target, but obviously that's going to be indestructible with the Enforcer in play. So we'll want to you know, kill the Enforcer before it can attack. Um, we could do that now or wait until we get into combat stuff, but just to make sure I don't screw up, we'll just let it rip now. Really, 
drawn into fabled passages this game. Uh, didn't want a nine lives yet there. It's not in danger of losing to a life total yet. But um, I will look to crack the passage at end step. Though they are bringing the heat pretty fast here. So, I th think we can hopefully still survive next turn. I don't want to drop it yet. One problem, though, is really need a board wipe. Um, so I'm generating so many human tokens is going to make nine lives die quickly and kill us because they're just going to have nine different sources of damage on the board so fast. But we need a board wipe really bad. Well, it's Go grab an island this time. We don't have any blue yet. Gonna be forced to drop the nine lives now. Teferi is not gonna save us from all that stuff on the board. No real other option, I don't think. Teferi just won't save us here. This won't buy us a lot of time. I think we have one land left to fetch with the Fabled Passage. I already have six sources, so... We're going to have to draw a board wipe or a solemnity like next turn or this is going to be another GG, I believe. <clears throat> so we'll crack this just to thin out the last basic land to just increase the odds that we draw something relevant by a marginal amount. And I don't, is that... I don't think that's good enough. Well, we kill a lot. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Get out of my way. Or, you know, don't. Ouch. So, yeah, this, this thing really sucks. It was really good, actually. Adeline says she's going to make a human that's coming into attack that turn. That'll put us up to eight, nine lives counters, assuming they all come at us. We just, we desperately need a board wipe or a solemnity or a search for enchantment. There's a lot of outs, assuming we don't die here, which I think we're... They are gonna take out the Chandra. I, I don't blame them for that, considering they can't quite kill us here, so. I'll try to come back for you. And there is an idyllic tutor. Huzzah. So we can go get Solemnity. But now it's all just down to if they've got a removal spell. It's GG anyways, and that was just hope torture. Probably have some way to remove it. Oh, just gotta, gotta keep the faith. 
Oh, that's sweet. That is a nice setup. So we'll Doom Scar now. Damn. That would have ended our, that would have killed us right there. <laughs> So now we can go with Teferi and probably with such a limited ward, Trust I don't me. want to draw here, I just You'll want to get, me, I gotta start removing the threat, get this away, and we'll also at least get a stupid little 3-3 blue elemental, or whatever it is, illusion. Fatal push. Another solemnity, that's good to see. But first we'll just draw. Hold that thought. Castle of Antris is nice. Lockdown Solemnity. I'm not gonna get greedy and play another Tefri, I'm just gonna keep riding the one I have and we'll be set up to at least get a Castle of Antris activation. Could have considered uh, Castle of Andrasy and then untapping two lands, possibly doing it again, but I don't think I had quite enough mana. A backup Solemnity is actually. Knowing that they have Skyclave Apparition, I'm kind of inclined to take that. Just for a little bit more insurance right now while this game is so dicey. Hurry! <laughs> There's a third. So we could Teferi tuck that, but we'd have to pay three life. Doesn't seem worth it. I mean, we can let them kill this Teferi. We'll get another activation with Castle Vantress. It's also now possible, I'm gonna put a stop on my upkeep. We may wanna consider Castle Vantress scene on our upkeep before we draw to just get that even that much more selection. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to untap two lands here. So um, I can get the I'd like to just get the third solemnity down for that much more insurance. And we do know that their Skyclub apparition is the next card coming because of that tuck. Go remove one of them. They'll probably run four. So got three more to worry about in the deck. So maybe, um, you know, tucking Skyclave Apparition, I kind of just hastily did that because we did want to clear the board, but it's maybe not the best thing we do. <laughs> We don't want to let them keep using that, because we don't get the card back, we just get the useless illusion. But they've had enough of my slow play. I think winning for them was going to be really doubtful anyways. I mean, we, we're we starting to scry. We're going to find... We've got a backup Teferi. We're going to find stuff. And it's just not worth it to them to slog through a game like that. Especially if you're... You know, if you're... Like me, you're just starting out and you're at Platinum tier zero or whatever there's no penalty for losing you can't go back any further so we'll get one more game here playing a lot of weird decks so low in platinum tier right now but we'll see if we can get 
get a good game, hopefully, for the last one. All we have is white and red, but we do have a Doomscar, a Tutor. A little slow, but I'm sick of mulling and gonna roll with it. Maybe another Elves. Yeah, I really can't wait for this this tournament this weekend. Can't wait to see some high level pro historic action. It should be sweet. But as well as standard, I've been taking a break from standard, but can't wait to get back into that as well. But anyways, on to the game. We're up against elves. Probably want to just establish the doom scar now and save the helix for later. I think. Yeah, hopefully they splooge and just go nuts next turn, drop a whole bunch of crap, overcommit, we can clear the board, but don't even attack. It seemed like a again guys, this this is low platinum, like we it's not gonna we're not gonna see perfect play. That must have just they must have just accidentally skipped their attack phase or something, but whatever. I don't know now it doesn't even seem worth to burn the doom scar given what happened. I will establish um, another white. No, actually we'll just go fabled passage here. Are they or actually maybe that was deliberate. They're looking to collected company next turn, which could put some dangerous things onto the board. Could potentially even kill us, actually. I've got to move. I'm going to... I'm not going to burn it yet. We'll see what happens with this selected company. Well, now I'm going to go just hit that one there. Actually, so they don't. Sorry for that. Oh, we lucked out. That was a wimpy one. Well, I'm kind of just spacing out on what to do. That, we lucked out there. They could have dropped a couple bombs and been able to, you know, pump, do a lot of damage. Let's go get that second blue mana now at their end step. Things like Ashiox Erasure. So, go ahead and get my white man in play. They could have another collected company, most likely, put even more threats on the board. And you know, if they if they hit a a lord, they could create a lot of mana and then get one of the pump dudes, they could potentially kill us next turn. So I think we unfortunately we have to just let the Doomscar rip right now. Okay, clear these three guys. But if they do have collected company, it's a very good example of, <clears throat> excuse me, example of showing the power of it. You play it on their end step. Which every everybody knows if you're, you know, at least to platinum. But collected company on end steps very strong, evades wrath the god effect. We really need to get the combo online, but we're just kind of struggling here, and it's worrisome that they didn't play it in anything again. Could have a third collected company, which would be bad news. Uh, we do have an Ashex Erasure, which 
could be good against that, but it's five, six. How much danger are we in with Teferi now? Doesn't seem like we can do that much. I think we hold up Erasure here out of fear for the Collected Company. Or maybe they're... Yeah. I think that's the best option here. Oh, right, because they have the Castle Garenberg. I didn't think they had enough mana to activate this, but they do. Whoops. But that's very close to lethal, especially if they drop more than one Lord, we can't counter them all. In the back of my mind though, I know I have an Idyllic Tutor and another land, so I can get nine lives out there. That's nine. They drop another Lord, that's 12, putting us to one, I think. Well, we can't do anything anyways. Kind of at their mercy right now. Unfortunately, we can't scry with Bantress. Low on mana. Well. So now it feels like we we have to drop nine lives to try to buy a little bit of time, but they they do have just ways to get so many different sources out. Lightning helix wouldn't give us enough life to survive, so it's gonna have to just be. Nine lives time to try to buy the time. No pun intended. We're just doing all we can to try to survive right now. That's what you gotta do. Oh, what a draw. <laughs> Again, we're still not out of the woods yet, though. They could have ways to kill this. And we are unable. We don't have Counterspell backup online yet. But apparently their deck is not equipped. Woo-woo. So, all right, net positive. We're not, like, bursting into Mythic yet or anything, but... Anyways, guys, hope you like that little taste of the Jeskai control deck. Um, we had a little bit of inconsistency, some weird hands, but you can see the deck is powerful. We didn't really get any control mirror matches, which I'm excited to show off what you can do there with Chandra. It can really burn your opponents out, but uh, uh, at least we, uh, we climbed a couple pegs or whatever, uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> on the uh on the ladder but anyways guys please like subscribe for more content hope you guys have great luck on the ladder and peace out